This video shows how you can adapt and install sequences from HolidaySequences.com, not associated with Holiday Coro, on a Holiday Coro 16 or 12 string tree. Now this applies to the CCR tree or to the Pixnode tree. So if you have 50 pixels per string and 12 or 16 strings vertically, this video will help you do that. Now we've gone ahead and already configured the controller, powered it up, we have the lights connected, and we have the controller configured to work with our computer. You can see that it's here at the default IP address. And what we've done is we have already gone in and adjust all of the universes to match the output number. Typically, these are going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, and these are going to be 340 pixels. Because we're not using 340 pixels, we're only using 50 pixels per output. We simply change each one of these to the corresponding output number, 1 through 16, and we change the number of pixels connected to 50. Now, if you're only using 12 strings, you can go ahead and configure it as such. It won't matter. Now, once you're done, go ahead and update the pixel string output, and that will go ahead and set those settings permanently. Now, we do highly recommend before configuring LOR and the sequences, go ahead and double check your settings and your output using the video that shows how to use the built-in test mode on the alpha fix to make sure your lights are all wired up and working right. Also, make sure that your pixel chip color output order is correct. It may not be RGB, it may be BRG or another color. Now, once you have all your settings made, go ahead and launch the sequence editor from Lightarama. Now, in this case, we have already downloaded the sequence from HolidaySequences.com and we have put it into our sequences directory. Now, this does not show the audio portion, it just simply shows the setup of the outputs and a walkthrough of the sequence. So the first thing we need to do is because this particular installation of LOR sequence editor has never been set up, we need to set up the outputs to match those of our controller. So we're going to go and open the sequence to begin with. We're going to select existing sequence and we're going to select the 16 pixel ribbon tree. In this particular case, we have God Bless the USA. Now, um, there are two versions available from Holiday Sequences. There are the CCR version. That is a version designed specifically for LOR hardware. And then there is the E131 sequence format. The E131 sequence format is designed for DMX controllers E131 based, which is what Holiday Coro sells. So we can see that we have our sequence here, and the first thing we need to do is go up and configure our outputs. And we're gonna go in here to edit, then preferences, then network preferences. Again, this is a non-configured version of sequence editor. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and select advanced. This is gonna bring us up to our menu for configuring our outputs. And so what we have to do is we have to tell Lightarama for each universe where it can output that data to. So if we click on the first one, we need to use E131, and we are gonna use the default IP address of our controller, which comes from the factory, and that is 192.168.0.50. And we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And we're gonna go ahead and do this for all 16 outputs. Now, we're just going to go ahead again. It's going to take the setting before it. The port number is correct, 5568. That's what port that the controller will be looking for the E131 data on. And we're gonna go ahead and configure all 16 because this is for 16 sequence tree. Now, if you did not have all 16, you could just configure up to 12. Now, in this particular case, we have it all configured. We have all 16. We have universe one. Remember that we have in our controller, universe one here. Universe one is output one all the way through universe 16, which is output 16. And of course, these SPI outputs 
correspond to the number printed on the label of your controller. So if it says output 16, this is universe 16. So this makes it very easy to determine exactly what's what. Now, let's just take a brief look at our sequence. Now, the holiday sequences sequence has eight individual channels for a star. We're not going to talk about that because there is no standard for stars. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and explore this sequence. So you can see that there is DMX CCR 01 through 016. Now they're collapsed with the signal here that shows you a plus. So if we expand that, we see that there's quite a few things under that. And what these are is each individual pixel. So if we hover this, you can see that it says P50. That is pixel 50. Because each roll of pixels has 50 pixels, this is the first output, CCR01, pixel 50. So this pixel, this light right here, the last pixel on the strip, furthest away from the controller, would be this pixel. So if we go back up to the top, we'll see that if we hover this, we'll end up with Universe 1, DMX channels, and it says here circuit, but that's something because of LOR's legacy preferences towards naming things circuits. But we are using DMX channels, 1, 2, and 3. And we need three channels because each pixel requires a red, green, and blue channel. So we have red, green, and blue. So we have the next one here, as you can imagine, four, five, six. This is pixel two, red, green, and blue. So if we look down here, we'll see that the next strip, this is CCR2. CCR2 is universe two, which corresponds with output two. And that is circuit one, two, three, which is DMX channels one, two, three. And of course, those go all the way through 50, like we have here. At this point, all you need to do is configure your audio and simply select media file, choose your audio file that you've downloaded from the website as indicated by holiday sequences, and then go ahead and you should be able to play your sequence. You should be able to make sure that control lights is turned on and then say start sequence. Now, you do need the control panel running. There will be a little black box that will appear in your system tray. This little black box with text is what translates from the LOR language that's outputting in the sequence editor over in to the E131 controllers on your network. Again, we hope this has been useful for helping you configure HolidaySequences.com sequences to work with HolidayCoro.com CCR controllers.